Hello ladies and welcome to part 5 of building a custom content management system using PHP and MySQL. Now we have everything we need on the front end of the site. Things are coming in dynamic. Page bodies are being displayed according to what's clicked in the dynamic menu. Our little custom modules show up that we placed. And now we want to create an admin center, a back end system for the people who are going to be responsible for managing the site content the pages and all we need is a little sign-in form I'm just gonna put it in the very bottom I'm gonna add a break tag right after this table here in Dreamweaver and don't worry all this code is going to be available for download free so if you don't have Dreamweaver you'll still be able to get to the code and see what was done using WordPad and Notepad okay first all we need down here where I made the break tag I just put a little break tag after uh, my page body there and I'm gonna type in the word admin and then put a link on it to a new directory called admin how about admin administrator keep it official administrator that'll be the directory and let's just leave it just like that. That way it'll open the index page of the directory all by itself. Alright, recall. Let's center that bad boy. Let's go into the code view. Div align equals center. There, there, that's not deprecated. Now you can not have to yell at me at all. We can be friends. Me and all the big geeks. Alrighty, now we've got admin link there at the bottom. It's going to go to a new directory called administrator. So all we have to do is create that directory and have an index page in that directory. Now here I already have an index page set up and going. We're going to use session variables to allow the site administrator to manage the site from this back end system. Okay, so I'm going to create a folder now and here I have one called admin but we need one called administrator and that one I was just messing around with don't even don't even look at that that's not here let's call this administrator and inside of that we want an index file this index file so let's file save as put this in administrator folder index update links no so now we have an index page in our administrator folder and that's what we're going to give navigation to in that link very simple and this index file is going to have a header that checks to see whether the person who's visiting this index is logged in or not if they're not logged in out you go buddy you can't stay so what we'll do is go into the code view of this index page in the admin center and right above the doc type let's place a PHP code block and right here we'll type in session underscore start open close parenthesis semicolon here we're going to include the file sorry I had to think about that for a second include once in between parentheses or in between double quotes we're going to type in admin check and that's the name of the file that we're going to write here in a second. It's going to do checking to see if the admin's logged in or not. And you want to do that first thing when this page runs, or any page in the admin center runs. And, uh, yeah, you could, could set it up in a header type situation. But for this example, I'm just going to set it up like this. It's simple to do, and everything is understandable the way it's laid out, really good for beginners getting in there and understanding it okay so now and we're including admin check.php at this point when this is included the code from within that file is going to execute it's going to do all the checking and if it doesn't make it it won't make it past another line of this code uh, of this script it's going to give any output that we decide if it fails if the admin is not logged in 
we can just give a link we can send them back to the home page automatically do whatever we want okay let's go up to file new PHP and get rid of that code and let's pop in the code that we need to do the checking so let's go to the PHP tab put a PHP block right there in line 2 I'm going to paste in the code and I'm going to explain it to you right now okay so what we have here is an if condition that's just checking to see if the session admin is equal or does not equal the terminator because when they when we make the login form for them in uh, part 6 the next part of this series we're going to assign a session named admin a session variable named admin and its value is going to be the terminator it can be whatever you want and if it doesn't equal up here then we just say uh, actually I've got one too many brackets or parentheses there there we go um, then we're going to give them some output that's going to say only the administrator can view this directory and that's going to be in between h3 tags make it a little big then there'll be a line break and a link and this link we just use the dot dot forward slash to bring them up one parent directory back to, to the front end of the site this this page the main part of the site now let's just save this file save as admin check and that's it so in the next part let's just put admin check because it already has a PHP extension so there we have admin check.php and now every time this index page runs in the admin center first thing we start we start session and then we run the check file if the check file doesn't work out then we just include the link and exit we gotta make sure we put exit here in the if statement exit so that way it will exit or stop and stop executing the script here this script here it won't run any of this none of that will be seen and will all they'll get is a link to the home page that's it so we'll see you in part six where we'll continue on and create the form needed that's going to be shown to them here we'll probably put it in right here a little login form we'll say uh, would you like to log in you're not um, uh, you may be the administrator but it seems as though you're not logged in and maybe you want to give them a form right there that makes sense to me so maybe we'll do that I'll chew on it but in part six we'll get it to where the administrator can log in and then we'll start we'll get that session variable created